all right all right welcome back welcome back so as you can see let me zoom in some more we're going to be looking at p6 which needs us to review the extent to which the website meets client requirements so in this section merely what we're going to do is review the stuff that we said we were going to do and do they actually meet what the client wanted now i've copied my list of requirements here you should i mean ideally do the same thing just have your list of requirements somewhere and remember your list of requirements is what you theoretically agreed with your client that needed to be done in order for the website to be finished or completed before they can make it go live so here is my list um, a website with navigation stroke multiple pages images should be present video should be present audio should be present text needs to be present very very basic things so whatever your list of requirements were have them here i think i have i'm not even going to count this let's just say 10 i have 10 here whatever your list of 10 20 maybe 15 requirements were you put them here and when we go to review them we simply go i mean i've created a table here let me put some space in between that so it doesn't get confusing and messy the first one here says a website with navigation stroke multiple pages and i've said done yes or no simply delete the one that you want, um, don't want so for example um this was done for me so i'm going to remove no leave it like that no to this description um i have multiple pages on the website each with a button well each with buttons linking to all the other pages um uh, there are uh, what's the thing at the bottom called again um social media social media icons which then low which then take you to external pages yeah this just something very 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 brief like this that's just two sentences right and that's perfectly fine for this section let me just make that bold let me just make this bold as well so it stands out a bit and that's it that this is all i would do for this section now there are other sections within p6 but for this reviewing um how well the website compares to your initial idea or initial ideas and things that needed to be done you agreed that these things needed to be done with the client theoretically speaking so let's just say you had a client a friend was your client and they said i needed this kind of website these are the list of things that you and the client agreed okay this is what needs to be done so i would go through each one of these and do something along these lines maybe make this bold as well why not just make um yeah so go through and do each one of these very very simple very straightforward i think uh, for the second one images should be present i'm going to do let me move this up put some space between this one here um that was definitely done images should be present notes descriptions um, mainly uh, I would say put something like mainly PNG images were were used um, some JPEGs present I mean this part it it's a bit of fluff because it's already there you just need to say is it present and maybe where is it on my website every single page has an image because the images are the banner um, some JPEGs were used so I've got the banner, I've got uh, the rollover buttons or images, rollover buttons, I've got the social media icons, and um, random, well not random images, and other images, I am age images within context. So for example, on the, um, the buy page, or, or buy game page, I think I'm going to have images that represent the game of um, the Grand Theft Auto game for Xbox, the Grand Theft Auto game for PlayStation, maybe PC, whatever the case is. Those are images as well. Just say what kind of images you have and that's it. So you're simply going to go through for each of these and you're going to say, is the thing present? Yes or no. If it is present, give a note. If it is not present, say why it's not present. So for example, um, I don't have this one. This is perfect. Let me do that one next. I don't have that one. So let me move this up. Let me move that down. So, so it doesn't get confusing let me get rid of this one here and put this one instead because this is something i did not actually do paste this here uh this was not done and i have to say why it wasn't done i didn't have the time so i'm going to put stuff like uh time did not permit for this to be completed i uh created the website from scratch -E -E. i created a website from scratch um rather than 
rather than using a website builder or um, not to or or um, a template so if I use a template or a website builder this would have been so so much easier to do now it will work on mobile but it's not been optimized it's not been created to work well on mobile that's the only difference here right uh, needs no that's no perfect so this is how I would do it so it's very straightforward again very simple this is me saying no I have not done this thing and I've said why I have not done it this is me saying yes I've done it and it's present in in these places yes I use PNGs yes I use JPEGs um, is present in the banner rollover button social media icons and other images within context so for maybe I could say for example on the well, what did I say before the buy game page buy game page I have images of the game for each platform so Xbox PlayStation PC maybe Nintendo switch as well whatever the case is right all right next step we have is to outline any changes you had to make from the original plan so you know what your original plan was your original designs your original requirements your original things that you had to do for me again I've copied in my um, list of requirements let me just zoom out so you can see the entirety of my document let me move this up so the first part of this section was again to look at individual requirements and speak about them. Now you can join these two sections. You don't have to separate them. You can do um, whatever you want. So what you could have actually done is in here where it says notes, you could have maybe, I don't know, dragged this over here and then put in here any changes you had to make rather than having a separate section. So feel free to do that. So here you just have a general description of what was there. Maybe you could just have here and have changes and then you, you could go ahead and describe the changes you made. That, that would be perfectly fine as well. That's all I'm going to do down here. So on this section, again, it says to outline any changes you had to make from the original plan. Requirements. Everything here I think I did except for the mobile version of the website. So for me, I've got change 01. Needs to work on both mobile and desktop. Right. So if there had to be a change, remember, in the original stuff that we wrote about here, if there had to be a change in me, uh, saying images should should be present if I had to make a change right state um, what the change was and why I made the change so for changes it needs to be uh, what and why and I'll put this down here as well changes what and why so this is the change that was made so I needed to have a mobile website that was the original thing I changed it because I didn't have enough time I didn't have enough skill so time skill I didn't have enough, um, I didn't use a template, so no template. Again, use full sentences. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm only doing this to make it quicker for me to go through stuff, right? So less time, I didn't have the skills necessary. I had no template, so I had to do it from scratch. Uh, so done from scratch. You should ideally, 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 please have these in sentences. No template, done from scratch. And it would take too long for me to make the mobile website and the desktop website and be testing both of them at the same time. I have other coursework to do, okay? Now, this is going to come back to the one of the very last um, sections. I think it's D2 or D3 where you have to evaluate your own performance when doing this. So keeping in mind, even though this is a negative, that's perfectly fine. Even though you didn't finish, because of these reasons, that's perfectly fine. You can say that in your D2 and D3. That's actually going to get you marks. So you can say, I didn't finish because I didn't have the time necessary to finish this and do other pieces of coursework. I didn't have the skill necessary. Or this, this is my very first entry into making a website, my very first time programming HTML and CSS and JavaScript and all of that stuff. I didn't manage to do it because I didn't have a template. And because I didn't have a template, I didn't know the exact steps I needed to follow in order to do this. So that kind of links back to skills. And because I did it from scratch, again, that kind of links back to skills. So maybe you could just join these three sections in one, in one larger section and say in the future, again, I'm, I'm jumping way ahead. This is for D3 content. This is for content where you're evaluating your own performance, jumping way ahead. But just so we know what's coming up later on, it's perfectly fine to say a negative thing about your website. It's perfectly fine to have a bad thing about your website. So for example, up here where I said, um, navigation with multiple pages if i said yes however in my notes and description i said two other pages are broken they just don't load i've done everything to try and fix it but they do not load say that that's perfectly fine because again this is version one of your website we're definitely going to go back and we're going to try and fix things so say something negative if it actually is negative that's perfectly fine let me go back down to this section here 
So um, yeah, that's my change zero one. This is how I would do it. I would say what was changed and why it was changed. So for me, it needs to work on mobile. Um, I said does not work on mobile. Does uh, not work work on mobile and i would leave it as this okay and then simply describe why this is a thing that did not work change two we're going to do the same thing from my list there's nothing else i did not do um but whatever your things are that you did not do have a decent list so let me copy this a couple more times let's just say if th three should be fine three 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 to five should be fine because most of your stuff should be working because you would have had some time or enough time to do most of them so I would say three, three to five should be a good number. I don't think you need to go overboard and do much more than that. That's fine. Um, so again, describe what you want and that's it, you're done.